we're following breaking news overnight. Rescue operations unfolding well into the morning in Hyannis, where a high-speed ferry crashed into a jetty on its way into the Hyannis Harbor from Nantucket late last night, leaving passengers stranded for hours. Here is a live look at the ferry this morning. All of the passengers and crew members on board are now safe on shore. They've since been evacuated. You can see rescue boats are still there on the scene. Coast Guard crew members staying with the ship as it is still grounded on the rocks. We're told 57 people were on board in total. Nine passengers hurt, three of them suffering serious injuries. All steamship uh, authority ferry passengers are now on shore as well. Now that's right, and of course, rescue crews working through the night on the ground, in the air to get everyone off the ferry. Some were stuck on board for several hours before being rescued. As we've mentioned, the Coast Guard telling us exactly what they were up against with those rough seas, strong winds, and slippery rocks making their job very difficult. Because of the weather, they had to rescue 33 passengers by boat, 10 uninjured ferry passengers had to be airlifted, and one passenger shared what he saw on board. I was asleep on the boat, and all of a sudden, I just felt this huge jolt. And I flew forward, and I looked up, and everyone flew forward. And we, I didn't know what to do, so all of a sudden, I started grabbing life vests and everything. And I started to give it to some people. And there was people outside who fell over and, like, injured their hair really bad. They were bleeding, and it was just chaos at that point. Well, the Hyannis Fire Chief telling us in his 35 years on the job, he's never seen a boat this large hit that jetty. Now, the cause of the crash is still under investigation this morning, but the crew we now know has been tested for alcohol. That does not appear to be a factor.